we won't keep you long this morning, but we have a simple message for you. Okay. Very simple message, but the message is so simple mm -hmm. until many people miss it. So look at your neighbor and say, it's simple. It's simple. simple. It's simple. So simple. Catch it. So okay. catch it. It's that simple. It's that it's simple. simple. Amen. Amen. And here's the simple message I want to leave with you this morning. Mm -hmm. I won't speak long, but here's the simple message. Yes, sir. Say it till you see it. Yeah. Say it till you see it. Amen. Amen. Say it until you see it. In Mark, the fifth chapter, we have already been uh, taught along these lines about two or three weeks ago when Pastor Randy taught on the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. There's so much nuggets in this story and it is so rich in truth because many of us have yet to realize that our words rule us. We are the sum total of what we have said or of what people have said over us and that we have believed. Most of the time, when people, particularly you, are our friends or people older than us or probably our parents speak negative of us, we tend to believe it automatically because they said it. So they limit our world. But my brothers and my sisters, you need to take the limits off. Yes. Amen. It does not matter what other people think about you. Right. It's what you think about yourself. Amen. It does not matter what other people say about you. About it's about me. what you have to say about yourself. Yeah. Stop letting people put you down all because they don't want you to get anywhere. Stop letting people tell, make you think that nothing good will ever come out of you because the very fact that you have been born proves that you have an existence and a reason to be here. The very fact that you are here out of all the babies that do not make it, the very fact that you made it, the very fact that when the sperm was released, there's a bunch of sperms and you're the very one that caught the egg and that you are here today, it means that you have a divine purpose for being here. As a matter of fact, let me go a little further. And so they say that a whole bunch of sperms come out at that one end. The fact that you were the one that hit shows that there's on you. Now nobody else may want to call you unique. Nobody else may want to think of you as unique. Man, listen to Bishop and look at what he's saying in church this morning. Man, behave yourself. They teach these things in biology school. Right. Amen. In school in biology. Yeah. But no matter, no matter what it is, the fact that you are here means that you are unique. Yes, that there's something special about you. Amen. And that Amen. no matter what people have to say about you, really what they say don't matter. No. What matters is how do you think about yourself you and yourself? what do you say about you? Yes, Amen. Amen. Now, of course, many people speak negative of themselves because of a lot of the bad things in life right. they've experienced. And granted, some of the bad things you've experienced have been bad. Some of the things you've experienced you may never want to go through again. Some of the things you've experienced would make you want to think bad and negative of yourself. Especially when all you keep trying, it seems like no matter what you do, whatever you do don't seem to work. Hallelujah. It may give you a negative outlook on life. Yeah. I'm talking to somebody this morning. Yes, Sometimes when you're going through so much, and you've been beaten by things so much, and you've been beaten up by life circumstances and situations so much, and people have always said the negative to you so much, and you work on a job where the boss don't like you. And not only the boss don't like you, the people on the job don't like you. And not only the people on the job don't like you, the people on the job don't like you. The
Yes, sir. But if you keep your mind thinking, yes, sir. All the night, I tell you, I'm not preaching all this morning. I just got one thing to tell you. Get that mode in order. I realize, my brothers, thy sisters, that you gotta say it until you see it. That you gotta stop saying what was. My God. You up and say what was. Yeah. What was now is over. Look at your neighbor and say it's over. All the past failures, it's over. Yeah. 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 But you can't move forward yeah. while yeah. looking back. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who drives can tell you keep looking back. Real talk. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's true. That's true. That's been many of our problems. Yeah. We keep looking back. Yeah. We keep looking back <laughs> and looking back. And then you look back. The more you look back, the darker it gets. Yeah. The more you look back, the blacker it gets. The more you look back, the more hopeless it gets. The more you look back, the more you wonder, dear God, will I ever make it? My brothers and sisters, yesterday is gone. Did you wake up this morning? Yes, yes, yes. You woke up this morning, you woke up to a brand new day. Yes. And you got the great yes, yes, You woke up, my God, I'm preaching to myself. I make myself yes, yes. You woke up to a brand new day. I don't care what did happen in the past. That don't matter right now. No. What? It's past. Well, in this story, Mark chapter 5, beginning at verse 25, there was a woman with an issue of blood mm-hmm. who had spent all that she had and had suffered from many positions. I mean, doctor after doctor after doctor see her. Yeah, and she had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. This woman had, had been through it, I mean, suffering from this issue of blood. And here there is no doctor could make her well. But the Bible said when she heard of Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say the Jesus factor. Jesus factor. No, no, come on, tell your neighbor the Jesus factor. Jesus what we miss out is we miss out the Jesus factor. Amen. Amen. You have to have the Jesus factor. Look at your neighbor and say the Jesus factor. The reason why we've been struggling with all what we've been struggling with is because we miss out the Jesus factor. That's true. Amen. He makes the difference. I said he makes the difference. Yeah. In a day like today when everybody just won't preach on getting rich and the preachers getting rich while the flock getting poor, we have forgotten the Jesus factor. My, God. my brothers and sisters, look at your name and say the Jesus factor. Whether you believe it or not, you get from church early today. And I know some of you think that, oh, that's because of the church got a prophecy band. Well, you are going to see the band, but that ain't the reason. <laughs> I just came to tell you. Say it. Say it. Tell you see it. Say it till you see it. But what is my saying based on? It's based on the Jesus factor. Yes, sir. Yeah, everything looked hopeless. But she heard about Jesus. Yes. Yeah, she appeared to all them doctors. Yes, sir. And they told her, we can't help you. My God. But she heard about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. yeah, I mean, she had spent all that she had. But oh. she heard about Jesus. Yeah, she was nothing better but rather grew worse. Yes, but sir. she heard about Jesus. I'm here to tell you this morning. Yeah. It don't Jesus. matter how bad it looks. It don't matter what you've already gone through. It don't Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for building your faith on. My God. She heard about Jesus. You heard. Look at your neighbor and say, Did you hear? Did you hear? About Jesus. Did you hear about Jesus? Well, well, let me talk to you a minute. All right. What did you hear about Jesus? My Bible tells me no weapon formed against you. That's I said, What? What, what did you hear? Jesus. Right you, my Bible tell me he not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Jesus, the angel of the Lord, in the of the Lord, yes, and then what did you hear about Jesus? Himself took our infirmities yes. and bare our sins. 
What did you hear about Jesus? My God shall supply all your needs according to the riches glory. glory. By Christ Jesus. He didn't say according to your pine book. He didn't say according to the pine. He didn't say according to the government. He said he will supply all your needs according to his riches. His riches. My God. Now how can you ever say God in Paul? God in Paul. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. The right word at the right, right time. time. My God. Changes everything. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes you just go in to the wrong people. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for the right word. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to cut some people off. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. They don't have the right <laughs> word. <laughs> Sometimes you got to limit how much of your business yes, you give to some people. Because they don't have. My God, eh? Real talk, real talk. Mm -hmm. My God. Real I want talk. you to see yourself in this woman's shoes. Mm. She's been suffering for 12 years. Blood been flowing from her for 12 years. Her body is weak and frail. Suffer it, my Lord. And my God, you know the medication sometimes the doctors give you a mess here. Yeah, I'm amazed. <laughs> when I watch TV, the commercials, this will heal your headache. <laughs> But it'll give you kidney trouble, heart disease, and probably kill you. My God. <laughs> They're practicing medicine. Yeah, instead of making you bad, make so, you So, I mean, I have no problem with them practicing. No problem with you. As long as the practice work. <laughs> <laughs> but she had 12 doctors. And a lot of them couldn't help her. Think about that. That's exactly where some of you are right now. No, maybe you didn't go to a doctor, but you are at the place right now where you're thinking nobody can help you. Where you're thinking you're hopeless. Where you're thinking your life as you know it is over. It could be your boyfriend leave you. It could be your girlfriend leave you. You know when your girlfriend leave you, you think you're dying. Then you start playing the blues. I don't know what wrong like. You start playing them stupid songs like the Colonel the car never out you. Wasn't you living before you met? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Mm. But uh, y'all talk back to me now. Yes, sir. Isn't it interesting how we put our whole hopes? And dreams and people? Yeah. Just because someone tell us me, you know someone told me that? A boss I have told me, I can't make it without him. Yes, sir. I've proven him wrong. <laughs> My Lord. Amen. Amen. Because you, you know your words are powerful. Yes. yes they are. But but see, if I say something to you, the only way I can work on you is if you believe, believe it. it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Real talk. I want you to drop. All the negativism that people spoke over you. Amen. Yeah. You woke up this morning to a new day. Yes, God knew you was coming here. Yeah. And God set it up. Because he didn't even give me a word yesterday. I said, what do you want me to say? I didn't hear nothing. My Lord. This morning, something more for us to say, I don't want to be disturbed. Because yeah. he didn't know I didn't have a word from God. My Lord. I was just waiting to hear. Yes, sir. And all of a sudden, when Lisa walked in the office, to do something for me, I heard it. Mm -hmm. This is what you tell them. Amen. Say it. Tell you see it. Yes. Oh God. Say it. Say it. Say it. Tell you see it. I tell you see it. Yes, yes, hallelujah. So look at this woman, God. Because when all of what she was going through, she could have kept talking negative. She could have kept saying, "I've been to twelve doctors, or oh, none of them could fix me. None of them could help me." None of them could solve the problem. None of them could diagnose the case. Moreover, I broke. I flat broke. I don't have no more money. Yes, sir. She could have talked like that. Yeah. But I thank God she heard. She heard, she heard, she heard. Oh, Jesus. Amen. She heard there was a miracle wake up. She heard there was a healing in the town. She heard there was healing power in his garment. Yes, sir. She heard she didn't need to get his hands, just touch the hem of the garment. Amen. She heard that many people who touched the garment, they were immediately made whole. And that built up some faith in her. And I'm wanting to build up some faith in you today. I'm wanting you to come out of your hopeless zone. I'm wanting yes. you to come out of that zone where you think your life is over. I'm wanting you to come out of that zone where you think your life will be no better. 
I don't want you to come out of that zone where you think this is just the way your life will be until you leave earth. No, that devil is a liar. Amen. You are going to rise up. You are going to excel. You are going to get better.
My Lord. You start saying, my God will supply all my needs. And things are working in my favor. And then when things look bad, you say, oh dear God, they can take everything from me. I ain't got enough. I ain't got two quarters to work together. I'm so broken to pass by the bike and trip the llama. You start saying all of these bad things out of your mouth. See, you are more built on the negative than on the positive. Oh my God. That's the reason why in church you talk one way. And then at home you talk a completely different way. I know what I'm talking about because I used to be there. Where you keep talking as if you're so prosperous in church. Uh, but when you're home, you say, oh, there's God, baby, I'm so broke. Uh, but God had a wife uh, who also became like the iron that got me back together. But she say, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop talking that negative talk. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, stop it, stop it, stop it. 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 The Bible says she said, I kept on saying. Yes, sir. Now she had another obstacle. And I'm, I'm closer. But here it is. Jesus is in the midst of a crowd. The Bible said the crowd is thronging him. Not only that, he's standing at the side of a Jewish leader. And this Jewish leader had the right to stone that woman if she dared to come in their midst. Because the Jews regarded her, according to the book of Leviticus, yes, as unclean. Yes, but she looked at it. And she saw that the prize. My Lord. Was right the sacrifice. Yes, sir. My God, eh? That's a nugget. My God, that's a nugget. That's a nugget. <laughs> the price was right the sacrifice. My God. So she kept saying, mm. if I touch, I shall be made whole. I shall. I shall. If I touch, mm. I shall be made whole. If I touch, I shall. And that pill fade in her. And she started to go mm. and head out there. This weak woman. I'm only going after the garment. She's crawling on the ground. All kind of people around her. But look at your neighbor and say, press your way. Press your way, press your way, press your way. Right in the middle of all of them people. She started pressing away. Right in the middle of all of them people. She continued pressing away. Yes, some of them may have been kicking here and kicking in there, but she kept pressing away. Yes, their kicks hurt, but she kept pressing away. Yes, it hurt a little bit, but she kept pressing away. Yes, her boy was still weak and frail, but she kept pressing away. My brothers and my sisters, I want to tell you that no matter what you are dealing with, and no matter what you are going through, press your way to victory. Press your way to success. Press your way to your healing. Press your way to your deliverance. Because if you keep saying it, one day, I tell you, one day, it will come to pass. Because God is not a man that he should lie. He's not the son of man that he should repay. If he said it, he will do it. Look at your neighbor and say it. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.